How you doing guys? I'm London Moore. I'm a junior here. I'm a forward on the basketball team. We were out here in March planting trees and I played a little bit on my harmonica, but I would like to play you guys a little more. Here we go. Well, we think this is part of the learning experience for students. The world is going to need to be more sustainable. There will be careers in sustainability, uh, but we will also need sensibilities and sensitivity to sustainability. Yeah, and we just want to save the world for our kids and grandkids, and I hope these students think about that too. So I think that every time we can promote going green and sustainability, it's really an important thing to do. Plus, uh, at the end of the day, if you learn a reverence for place, for the world, for the, for the peace of creation that you're responsible for, you've learned a lot. I think um, the students in, in, at Berea College care deeply about sustainability and the green game was, was a really visible way that we could talk about carbon neutrality and make it real so that you're sitting in Seabury, you know that you're burning energy and emitting carbon and then have a full circle moment to come out and plant trees to know that we're going to absorb that carbon. So by all of the students that came out today to help, um, I think that just speaks volumes to the fact that they really do care what we're doing here um, in terms of sustainability. But the commitment to sustainability is huge and um, anytime we can get a group together to have a good time around sustainability, I think um, help spread the message even further. This is the most important part about planting a tree today. This is called bald and burlap. It means it's field dug. They go out in the field, dig them in the field, and they put the, put the wire basket on, they put the burlap on the root ball. Okay, that B and B, whatever. But what happens during that process, or during the growth of the tree, is all of this soil, when they ball it up, a lot of times this soil gets pushed up way up here on the trunk. And then it's wrapped up nice with the burlap. It looks really good. And people take it and they're like, well, that's perfect. That's where the dirt is. That's where the trunk goes in. Let's plant it right here. If your first step is not finding where the, the roots flare out, uh, where the trunk starts naturally flaring, and where that, those first roots come out, probably gonna plant it too deep. So everybody can look at this one. You can see where the soil was all the way up here. And I found the root flare, which is about four inches lower. So I mean, that's very important. That's the most important part of planting a tree. Now when you get a container tree, you go to a nursery or something, most of the time they're they're in the right spot. Because that's just the way they're grown. But these field these field dug trees, a lot of times when they're it's the digging process. They look just right. You know, even this one did because if you look at this trunk right at this level, it's starting to swell up a little bit. And you'd be like, well, that's the flare. That's the trunk flare. I'm good.
I mean, one of the most prominent uh, places we have on campus is the quad, uh, which makes it so nice are the large trees that we have. Uh, these trees don't last forever. Uh, construction of the campus, just natural senescence of a tree. Um, tornadoes come through here from time to time, whatever. Uh, so you really have to actively replant. Um, kind of look at, gauge where you are every two or three years, and uh, really, you got to keep good trees planted and kind of get some variety in the trees and just so we have ongoing um, succession uh, when trees come down and you know we could take a walk through the quad right now and we could pick out 15 to 20 trees that we planted in the past uh, three or four years you know just in this little area so I mean it's just it's huge because it's what uh, it's an identity of the campus and we try to keep that going and then Bria's got a they're tied in with the the management of the 8,000 acres of forest they have, which is a long, you know, long-term thing, which forestry's worked on also. But um, yeah, I mean, it's one of the best things about the campus.